welcoming in the year of the rabbit. Chinese New Year comes to London department store Harrods, which hopes to attract more Chinese shoppers over the next 12 months. To encourage them to spend their yuan in the UK, Harrods has begun accepting Union Pay, the only Chinese domestic debit and credit card, at 75 sale terminals in store. Harrods Managing Director Michael Ward says their Chinese customers spend on average £2,500 each. China is our fastest growing category or country in terms of uh, foreign overseas visitor at the moment. Uh, to put that into perspective, five years ago it was about a third of what the average American was spending. Today it's twice what the Americans are spending in London. Harrods says in 2010 the amount sold to Chinese buyers was double that of the previous year. To make their big spending customers feel at home, Harrods now has 40 Mandarin-speaking concierges like Shofan Barilo. And they've introduced a Chinese shopping guide. Harrods isn't the only retailer chasing what some British media are calling the Peking Pound. Other well-known London department stores said that Chinese shoppers accounted for much as a third of high-end purchases during their post-Christmas sale. Luxury products ranging from cosmetics and shoes to watches and handbags are the most popular. 87,000 Chinese visited the UK in the first nine months of last year, and that number's only expected to grow. But Nigel Dazzler, Vice President of Global Blue, says the UK could do more to attract Chinese shoppers. In Europe you have the Schengen visa, which if a Chinese national applies for a visa, say in France, they then get access to 24 countries in Europe. For the UK, it's one, it's one visa for one country. And that's a fundamental difference, because when the Chinese nationals travel, they visit 10 countries over a two-week period. As shoppers from the UK and Europe tighten their belts, many retailers are looking to Chinese customers to boost their takings. The year of the rabbit, this time a golden one, is auspicious for wealth. And retailers hope it'll make their 2011 sales hop. Joanna Partridge, Reuters.